Welcome to Bible Logos. I'm Laura Worcester, your broadcast host. Today I'm excited to bring you part four of Your Five Heartbeats. Please do me a favor, like and share this message on social media with your friends and family. All right, let's get to the word. Here is part four of Your Five Heartbeats. The administration gifts and then you find the, 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 the prophecy over in the, the spiritual gifts. The, all three of them are different. So this prophecy is not the talking about the prophet. This prophecy is not talking about the spiritual gift of prophecy either. This is a, 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 a drive in you. You know how some of you have a strong sense of right and wrong. You speak out against compromise and evil. You might be outspoken. That's prophecy. Now that's not something that was necessarily born in you, uh, 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 planted in you when you were born again. Some of you were born that way, right? where you were outspoken, where you took a stand against wrong, where you took a stand against that which you didn't believe was fair. That's the, that's the operational gift of prophecy. Then there's the operational gift of ministry or service. The operational gift of ministry or service. That's the people who, whatever your hands find to do, if you see a need, you cannot let it go unaddressed. Un, un, I see an issue here, I see a gap here, I see a hole here, I see something that needs to be done over here, and you're running to get it done. That's the gift of ministry or of service. You're driven to get things done. That didn't happen to you after you got born again. Some of you were born that way. Some of you were doing that when you were four years old. Mama couldn't even get slow you down because you were running to get it done, all right? The next one is teaching. The next one is teaching which is a passion, that's where you're passionate about discovering and validating truth, especially where the Word of God is concerned. You're passionate about doctrine. You want to make sure it's accurate. You don't want, you don't want to be taught falsely. You don't want false doctrine to enter into you. You're passionate about teaching. You're passionate about discovering and validating truth. And with respect to the Scriptures, and church doctrine, you want to make sure that the information is accurate, right? That's the, that's the operational gift of teaching. The next one is exhortation. Exhortation. Exhortation, if you, if you have the, the operational gift of exhortation, you are an encourager. Your thing is to encourage people. You see that baby over there in she, her head is a little bit low, and you just want to go and give her a hug or, or comfort her or encourage her or make her feel better. And these people are often find themselves involved in counseling. They often find themselves involved in discipleship and teaching because they're the hug me, put your arm around them and make them feel better, encourage them that God is with you and he's going to be faithful to you and committed to you type of person, right? Then there's the giving person. There's the giving person. With respect to giving, that's the person who's generous with financial resources because their, their motivation, their drive is to meet the needs of others. You could be taken advantage of with folk on the corner who hold them, uh, uh, them signs on the corner because you can't, pass, you can't pass by anyone with a sign on the corner and you're not dropping dollars in their, in their, in their receptacle. You are a giver. You're very liberal when it comes down to financially uh, funding uh, things that will meet the needs of others. That's giving. The next one is leadership. The next one is leadership. You are, you have, you are an organizer. You're an organizer. You cannot stand disorder. It gives you a headache. It bothers you down to your core. You have got to step in and get it straight. Huh? You're, and you have a gift of motivating others to come on the program and help get this thing straight because you cannot stand to see it out of order. Mercy is the last one. Mercy. Mercy is the person who is sensitive to the needs of others. You demonstrate compassion, comfort, understanding. You always see the way 
to bring the person back. There's always a, a silver lining. Don't snuff them out, Lord. Because, see, on the one hand, you have prophecy who God, just kill them. They, don't, they ain't going to do it right. Just kill them, Lord. <laughs> and that's balanced, on the other hand, by mercy who says, Lord, thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for stepping in. Give them another chance. Give them another shot. Those are gifts, and these are gifts that the Lord has implanted in you. God has implanted in you. Again, I believe these gifts are planted in us from birth, but they're matured, and they come, they come to maturity once we get born again. But now with respect to the spiritual gifts, the ones that come through, or the uh, uh, manifestation gifts, the ones that the Holy Spirit assigns, again, he distributes them and takes them back. He distributes them and takes them back. With respects to the one that the Lord Jesus Christ assigns, the ministry gifts, the administration gifts, those he assigns, and if you don't do it, you're still called to do it. Welcome back. You do not want to miss the conclusion tomorrow of the message, Your Five Heartbeats. Please don't forget to like and share this message with your friends and family. I'm Laura Worcester, and I want you to remember that the sower sows the word, and therefore it is with the same measure you meet that it shall be measured unto you again.